All right, we're here in the village podcast, and because uh, we are outcast ourselves. Fuck society. We're going into the land of the blind. And Link has at least one eye, so he's definitely gonna be the king of this bitch. Wait, at least he has two. Look at him. I know, but you know that phrase, the land of the blind. God, do I, do I really have to explain it? Yep. In the, there's a saying, the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Oh, How about one-eyed bunny? So are those guys dinosaurs? Wait, one-eyed bunny? Like, what? Oh, wait, no, I was saying, I was going to say D Bucky O'Hare, but that was his, that was the duck. Yeah. So wait, are those guys uh, dinosaurs? Are they like? Lizard men. With capes? Are they blind? They should be blind. This is the, this is the blind dungeon. They could be. They should be. If this if this is the blind dungeon, why did the ore have the, the door to to get in have eyes? Like, look, look right there. Eyes. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> maybe just do uh, say the fact that yeah, maybe it's just they're just milky and you know deadened. Well, milk that treasure chest for all it's worth, Dave. It's a map. Yay! Nice. Same thing that I was at. The maps seem to be coming early in this game. Or these they these always, dungeons. They always do. No, is there there are some maps where like like where like, like, like one third of the dungeon in, in you might get the map. You know, check the map that you just got. Mm. B one, B two. I can go up or down, but never both. <laughs> you, how do you go up when you're not going to get hit? I can go I can go up and down. Mm -hmm. But never both, unless I decide to hack the game by breaking the controller. Oh, nice rupees. We'll totally use those. For what? No! I'll buy you a sex change operation. Ooh, okay. And do a bunny! Freeze. There you go. You're gonna change me into a gorgeous Japanese woman, freeze. Dave, say a wizard gender swapped you, what would you do? Uh. Probably stand around naked. Really? A lot. You know. For me, I think I'd die because my social insurance and ID and all that stuff and like all my schooling is all related to me as a male. And I could never convince somebody that it was actually me as a female. So I'd probably become homeless and die. I don't know. I'd probably believe you. You're pretty misanthropic. So wait, wait, wait. If a, if a hot girl shows up and is like, Dave, I'm Dev, you believe? I'd probably need some kind of evidence. Right. But there's things that you know that only you would know. So I'd Okay, so then I'd be like, Dave, remember that time when you had sex with your sister? And you'd be like, oh, it's true! It is you, Dev! Uh, except the whole having sex with my sister part. But yeah. Also the fact that now the entire world knows that you had sex with your sister. Are you really doing all this because my sister's pregnant? <laughs> yes, she is. Uh, yeah, thankfully not by me. Dave's going to be an uncle. Yep. She, um... She opened her legs wide and had a man ejaculate inside of her vagina. Yep, thankfully this child will not be born out of wedlock. Well, there are many half-decent kids that are born out of wedlock, Dave. I know, but there are also many kids that are born in wedlock that end up being really fucked up. Same with many kids that are born in wedlock. Weddings are nothing. They, they guarantee anything. I know. Like my two cousins... Or bo both come from loving families, but but the, the kids were born like before they got married, and they got married after they were born. You get different results from different types of people. Like I know that. Mm -hmm. I just think it's funny, like how, how parents will often like nag. Um, usually more girls more than guys, but definitely guys too. They'll nag like uh, when you get into a relationship and when you're getting married. Yeah. Like they nag that stuff, and like. <laughs> I guess I'm a disappointment. My my mom once nagged me when uh, me and my current girlfriend at the time were gonna have kids, yeah. and I said, are, I just told her to like, just drink to her face. So I was like, are you asking me when the next time I'm going to have unprotected sex with my girlfriend is? Do you want to know the exact time and place? And then she just never asked me again. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a really bad question to ask you. <laughs> well, dude, like that is what they're asking at the end. Yeah. When your parents say. When you having kids, they're asking, when you taking a load in your vagina? Yeah. That's what they're asking. Yeah, I'm like a sweet old load of cum. I just find it strange that like parents don't want to hear about your sex life in any way until it comes to, you know, you breeding. And then they want to know everything about your sex life. 
not everything. They don't really want the absolute details, man. They just, they want some kind of vague assurance that you may or may not be pounding with the intention to procreate. And you go down or up? I, th I, th I think down first. Well, oh, you can't go up. But there we go. Problem solved. Huh? Good job. You'll need to like jump down and then take a path, like a lower route. There you go. Also, like sometimes like random strangers, like especially if like you're a newlywed, random strangers will occasionally ask you like, "Oh, uh, when do you plan to have children?" You know, like that's kind of like a thing that that, that newlyweds get, and it's like. When in any other situation would asking about my sex life be appropriate? And why is it you consider it to be appropriate now? Never, ever. Uh, I'm definitely not going the right way. We'll explore this room first. You haven't been here before. All these rooms are sort of pulling together for me. There's a chest over there. Yes, there is. That should be helpful. Oh, God. Nice, compass. Oh, I get what you have to do. Jump down here and go to the, uh, the, the, that way. Oh, you stupid cock. Yeah, see? I was right, the whole time. Nice, you got all three fucking items right away. Is this a short dungeon? It seems like it might be. Yeah, it seems like it's a lot, I don't know. It, it's, it's definitely a lot less cool than, than the remake of it. Like, it, it's... They added a lot more, a lot more, like they literally added depth, like there's several floors of this dungeon. In there. And it's all about like, like shining light through holes and stuff? Um, in, the, in the roof? It's actually an escort sort of thing, like you, you actually have Well, to so is this one. We just haven't got to it yet. Huh. Man, they really mirrored the shit out of this, this game, didn't they? Yeah. It's as if they linked two worlds together. No. And something happened between them. No. I think you're lying to me. I wish you weren't, but <laughs> I guess I can't really do much. Alright, let's let's head uh, yeah, let's, let's head up north, back to that um, that boss key door. North is the opposite of south. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a cock. That's that the stairs right there. That's a cock and a ball, possibly two, possibly put in twain. Do you see that guy on Reddit who had three balls? No. Because he's like a third ball that hangs between the first two. That's oh, no, okay. I've seen pictures of people with like three legs. Is um, it functioning like the third ball is? Yeah. They, they well, keep, sometimes they, they sometimes, sometimes it's just vestigial, but there are people that have had multiple wounds and they and just like walk around with three legs and they're like, here we go. Can they run faster? Like say 50% faster because uh, there's 50% more legs? In most cases it's, uh, it, it's smaller. Like it still technically moves or anything, but it's just, it's just a lot smaller. What the hell is this nonsense? Give me keys willy nilly. What is this, bitch? It's a room. You gotta go open the door down there. That locked do door. Do door? There's also a guy is that on. Like DJ Do door? There's also a guy on Reddit who had uh, two penises. Yeah, I've heard of that. You saw that one? Oh, actually, uh, the one night. And they were, they were both functioning, too. Yeah, there was one night where um, there was. Oh, that one really fat chick who got on my case for not owning a suit. Yeah, okay. Continue. Right. Anyways, uh, we went from watching... We went from watching... Shoot the core, Dave! Oh, fuck off. We went from watching... Um... God damn it, why am I just being distracted by this? Oh god! Dave, can you fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. I could have done that to begin with. That would have been a little Can you hear a story about this? No, we, we, about this we, we, started, we started out with. Shut up. We started watching a tear after the porn. Dev, you're really not helping me. You Get really don't point. like me calling her that, even though she actually is quite overweight. And I don't like you bad with my friends. I'm not, I'm not applying a value judgment to her fatness, I'm just stating a fact. She, you can still be a fat and be a good person. I don't know, you're kind of fat and a bad person. <laughs> oh, God, you, you can't can. kill them. But you, sprinkle uh, dust on her, it becomes a fairy. Um. There you go. Yeah. You didn't know that? 
Shovel Knights! Got it for the Wii U. 